Take a look at these parallel scratches, striations. So do you think the ice did that? Can the ice do that? Can it score the rock? Or the gravel underneath the ice? Yeah, the ice had a little bit of help, eh? Now imagine, we're close to the glacier, and a cubic meter of ice weighs close to a ton. So up ahead, we've got depths of about up to 200 meters or more of ice. Tremendous pressure on the underlying loose glacial till, and then on top of that, or that's on top of the bedrock. So what you end up with is very effective abrasive. It scours and scores the rock, and it gives you an idea the direction that the glacier moved. So no surprise here. Uh, you know, the glacier was here 10, 12 years ago. But you can find evidence like this in many parts of North America or Europe that are now hundreds or thousands of kilometers from the nearest glacier. Mm -hmm. So it's a good indicator. And you can tell the direction the That's right. glacier was moving? Yeah. Now this is kind of interesting because here I see striations going in two different directions directions, which tells me that at some point maybe a lobe of ice broke off or some, something changed here and you ended up with the striations going in two directions.